Hi, I'm Alessia Spinoza Valve. I'm competing in the straw weight division. Little Rebel, um, that comes from when I was a teenager, just because you know I do get told a lot that I don't I don't listen or I you know I go against what people say, but it's not that I, I try to go against them, it's just I make my own path and I choose what I want to do and I don't let people tell me what I can and can't do. Um, I initially started MMA uh, because of Richie Cranny. I could see that she had potential straight away. There's some people that pick things up really quick and she was one of those people. And then next thing you know it, six months later I was doing the Wimp to Warrior tryouts and I got in. Having to get up at 4 o'clock, 4.30 in the morning, it was mentally challenging for me and it was so hard. To make myself still go every single day showed that I could do anything that I put my mind to. She's uh, taking in a stride and I think she's doing really well. Going for the pro um, debut, that was, well, it was a lot of pressure. Originally, I wanted the Canberra fight because I wanted less people to be there. Some people prefer to, to fight away from home. Yeah, I tell her not to think about it too much. They have to worry about pleasing anyone in the days leading up to the fight. They don't have to talk to anyone. They can just switch off and just concentrate on the fight. I told her she was going to win and knock the girl out. Well, look, if, if you look at a highlight reel of that fight, you would say perfect debut. But the problem was, in my last fight camp, I wasn't allowed to do cardio, so I couldn't skip. I couldn't run, I couldn't really do anything because I had a, a back injury. I'd just stand in front of her and make her fight me all day. So she was really struggling to get her weight down um, and I think she was almost three kilos over weighing. Uh, 2.9 we had to lose, so we had an hour to lose 2.9 kilos. Yeah, it was hard times. But uh, no, less, less really rehabbed her injuries uh, effectively and she's, she's looking great. Um, yeah, so less is training camp has been going pretty good. Her regime has, has changed. She's had two coaches working with her now and I kind of oversee it. She decided to come back uh, to, to train with me. So obviously she knew that I had access to a lot of uh, very high quality sparring partners who could mimic her, her opponent, which is a very important part of fight camp. That's been a big difference from her, this camp. It's very important that we really develop less together so Richie's expertise complements mine. I just want her to believe in herself. We've just got to make sure that she's prepared for every facet, physically, mentally, everything that we can think of. But Alessia doesn't really like it because it's grueling. It's really grueling on the body. I'm deliberately making the training session hard so that the fight is easy. You have to want it. She is ready and when she steps in there, we've given her everything we've got. The girl is fine, Todd. She's, she's good, she's aggressive. She's very strong. I'm very fortunate. I know quite a lot about her because uh, one of uh, Les's main sparring partners, Danielle Hayes, uh, she actually fought the girl uh, Claire uh, in, a, uh, in a, a Muay Thai fight. I know that she does have a lot more stand-up experience than what I do. But in terms of skill set, she's, she's got a lot of heart. We have quite a lot of inside information on how she fights. You know, you're not going to beat her, her mentally, but Les has got way more skills, way more skills in every area. Of course, she's going to bring a lot of new tools to the uh, to the game. Who gives a shit? Like, who cares? Eh? This girl's apparently a, a Muay Thai champion. I, I haven't seen any evidence of it, to be honest. Um, she's quite basic with her strike. She's very aggressive. She runs forward. She presses you. Um, and you end up on the fence a lot because she, she runs across the cage. You build this person up on a pedestal and they're this, that, and you go out there and you're worried about what they can do. It's not about that, it's what we can do. Like, we can do things too, you know? I expect Les to put on one hell of a performance and I'm obviously very confident in, in, in her chances. There's nothing really I've seen that concerns me for this fight. Either way, I'm, I'm ready for it. How Les does it will depend on the night. I reckon she's going to submit her or knock her out. I can't see it coming out the first round. I think, I think it'll end in a finish. She's done the hard work, she's done the hard yards, and she's committed to this. It sparked something in me that just makes me want to go all the way with it. So she's got a long way to go, but I, I truly believe this time next year she'll be fighting a big time.